Where are we? We've turned up in all oh. Auburn. Auburn. Auburn Community Caravan Park and we're in the uncard section which is which we took you through. Yeah. Um, bush camping essentially. But we've had a bit of an issue with the van. Yeah, anyway, we had no brakes and couldn't figure out why. Um, checked figured, everything? Yeah, checked all the electrical. We thought thinking it was electrical, it ended up being mechanical. Because they're hide this is these are disc brakes and then the, and uh, they're hydraulic. Anyway, we lost all hydraulic oil. Um, they're gonna have to be replaced when we get back, but um, they are sealing. Did you just tighten them up? Yep. I'll give you a and look. Put the oil in. Went yeah. and got some oil in the yeah. local IGA slash hardware in Auburn. Yeah. It's got everything in there. I actually have. <laughs> anyway, I'll give you a quick quick squeeze underneath here. I thought I tightened it up and it held, I don't think it has. Uh oh. No, well, moving on. Alright, just spoke with um, with Adam Adam from is it Power Brake. PBR brake parts, he actually pulled, he pulled us out of the shit. The brake lines, which you'll see in the caravan, got absolutely destroyed. And he um, literally made two brake lines up for us you know, within a half an hour. so. He didn't want to be in the video, but I'm, we're going to give him a free plug. So, for being such a such a great service. After a bit of a delay, we've left Auburn this morning, and we're heading to the York Peninsula. Yeah, we've had a few issues with uh, the hydraulic brake lines, which we've replaced with Royal Wing Brad replaced after a hike into Adelaide. Um, but the red art control is still flashing. Stopped here just to have a look at these brakes, and uh, we don't think we're going to camp here tonight. Nice, easy spot to get into, though. Very easy. It's going to be the beach anyway. Bloody windy here, so this will be interesting to see how well how well that flap soft works. Hello, pooch. Burn, burn off the man. Go, doggy. Burn all the way out to the water. Go. Well, I'm not sure, but Water Point Bush Campground or Will Smith's Beach Campground. Have a look. Turned off. Look, a bit traumatised by gravel roads after the damage to the van. Yeah. And, uh, there's lots of wind turbines. This is Wattle Glen. I was really expecting them to be a lot louder. So this, the road is just, is just there. The toilets. Thought we'd come in and have a look. A couple of spots. Pretty windy today. But, well, Okay. 
Miss O's found this. How good is that? We're driving by all the houses, weren't we, up there? Oh, Need... Point Turton's beautiful. So this is just a bit yeah. south of Point Turton. We rolled up and it's about, what, two o'clock? Yep. And there's only two other people just over there. Yeah, but there's like campsites on either side of the little track. Yeah, see. See ya. But so it's blowing, a, still blowing a gale yeah. today. And the flies are. Uh, and the flies are friendly, but um, we've got the van to protect us a little bit. We'll see how we go. Yeah. So this is Len Barker Reserve. Um, it's good. Probably only going to stay here overnight. Tides out. Really slow because they not enjoy that at all. It's a bit bumpy back there. Just a smidge. To Pyra Rocks 2.6 kilometers. Right there. There's the water. There's one camp spot there. Looks like someone's pulled in there. Well, let's go and look at that. There's three spots. I was just thinking, I'll stop here and walk in. It's raining. Oh, sorry about the sound, but the GoPro has just died. It's pretty, pretty windy here today. over there to guard the pack. And I went closer to these sheep. The llama came bolting over. They're just hanging out there. That's pretty cool. I'm just looking blowing its ass off here today. We couldn't really come down here. We've got all these, you know, like all most places got all these information. Sand dune management. York Peninsula, code of the coast. I like this one. Take your rubbish home with you. I don't know if this is going to make this video, but when we pulled up to camp, you know, someone had a fire and they tried to burn off plastic. It was half burnt plastic and it's a little bit of a pet hate of mine. When, we had, when our kids were coming with us, we um. 
you know, our little motto was, you know, take one bit of rubbish that wasn't yours out with you. Um, but I still believe that's a good thing. Just keeps these places nice for other people. Low tide, beautiful in the morning. Come on, dog, let's go. Dog's finally off the leash. He's been off the leash on this trip for a while. Got a laugh at that. The way we came in, it was pretty ordinary, but we got to see those other campsites. And, uh, we could have come in this way, though. This is the way we could have come in. <laughs> a, little bit a little bit nicer. It's, um, it's no wonder when you read the wiki reviews for the three sides, some people are going, the corrugations are terrible. You know, slow down and leave tight pressure down and other people are like, there's nothing wrong with the road and it's because people come in from different ends. Yeah. So the Balgowan end is the tight track, very corrugated. And I don't even know where this, where this one is, but off, off now Yappa Road, um, this one's fine. So this is where the sensible people come in. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, part of the adventure. You're going to tell the people about the battery? I'll leave that for another day. Oh.